Hi all, let's compare mixed numbers and improper fractions. And because there's so many choices here, I think it'll be fun to sort of rule them out with logic. So we're looking for which numbers are less than four and four fifths. Well, we don't even have to pay attention to the four, right? The, everything shares the four. So it's really about the four fifths. Four fifths is less than one. Eight sixths is greater than one. That's ruled out. Six thirds is greater than one. That's ruled out. Four eighths is one half. One half is definitely less than four fifths. So we feel good about that choice. Six eighths is three fourths. So you might say, how do you know whether three fourths is smaller or bigger than four fifths? Well, there's actually a trick, which is if you are one away from being filled up, so if you're three out of four, both these guys are one away from being filled up, then the bigger de the denominator, the, the bigger the number is going to be. So four fifths is always going to be bigger than three fourths, like 19 out of 20 is always going to be bigger than three fourths. It's like, imagine if you're taking uh, free throws. If you make three out of four, that's always worse than making four out of five or 19 out of 20 or 99 out of 100, right? So three fourths is going to be less than four fifths. One half is going to be less than four fifths. So we feel good about these two. Did I select this one? Yeah, okay. Cool. Which numbers are between two and five sevenths and six and five sixths? Okay, so this number is between one and two, right? Four thirds, six thirds is two. Um, this number is bigger than five, right? 20, 20 divided by four. Well, so okay. Let's just let's just work work it out, right? So fourteen divided by three is four and two thirds. Uh, 21 fourths is five and one fourth. 25 thirds is eight and one third. And four thirds is one and one third. Okay, that's too small. That's too big. These guys seem good. So we'll do this one and this one. Okay, let's just simplify them all. That's one, that's three, seven, five, sevens. Okay, so one and four fifths. Remember that game we played? If you play, if you make four out of five free throws, you're doing better than if you made three out of four, right? It's like you only missed one, but you took more shots. So four out of five is bigger than three out of four. That feels good. One is clearly too small. Three is between, you know, three's in that range. Seven and five sevens. Well, five sevens is more than half. Five sevens is more than half, right? So because it's, Three and a half out of seven would be a half. So that's too big. So we'll rule these out. So one and four fifths and three are both our answers. What numbers are between five and a seventh and seven and a fourth? Okay, so this number is one. This number is nine. This number is five times five is 25. So it's five and two fifths. And 39 out of 7 is 5 and 4 sevenths. Okay, let's make sure our baseline math is right. Okay, so that's no good. 1 is way too small. 9 is big. 5 and 2 fifths. Okay. I think, I mean, number sense tells us that 2 fifths is 40%. That's pretty big, right? That's bigger than one seventh, right? So this is good. Four sevenths, that's definitely bigger than one seventh, right? Because it's four sevenths, right? So that's good too. Why does only one of them become blue? It's weird. Which numbers are between five and seven and three sevenths? Okay, so this thing here is four, because four times seven is 28, and then we have three sevenths left. Everything else is nicely done for us, right? So 
four and three sevenths. Um, okay, so let's work it out. Five and a half, that's definitely good. That's bigger than five. Seven and seven eighths. Seven eighths is more than half. Three sevenths is less than half, right? So this is, this is too big. Three eighths. Okay. So here's another rule. If I take seven shots and I make three, or I take eight shots and I make three, which was a better day, right, in basketball? Definitely taking seven shots and making three, right? So three eighths is less than three sevenths, which in this case is good, right? Because we want we want to be between five and seven and three sevenths, right? So seven and three eighths and five and a half are both good. Okay, so is two less than, greater than, or equal to three sevenths? Well, three sevenths is less than one, right? So two is definitely greater than three sevenths. Again, this is, this is clear, right? One half is less than one, so three is definitely greater than one half. Five eighths or three fifths. Okay, so we can't really like we could we could reason this out, but we might as well just put it over a common denominator. That's the theoretical way of doing this, right? So five eighths, uh, three fifths. Let's make the common denominator forty. So we'll multiply the top and the bottom here by five. We'll get twenty five over forty. We'll multiply the top and the bottom here by eight. We'll get twenty four over 40, that's really close. That would be hard to kind of like figure out with number sense, right? So 25 over 40 is bigger than 24 over 40. Three fifths or six thirds. Okay, this is not hard, right? Six thirds is two. That's a whole number. That And three-fifths is less than one, right? So this is definitely, three-fifths is less than two. Okay, which side makes the statement true? Five-sixths or four-eighths? Okay, we're going to use some numbers since here. Four-eighths is one-half. That's 50-50. It's, it's definitely better to make five out of six shots than to make three out of six shots, say, right? That would be 50-50, right? So this is bigger. Five out of six is greater than one half. Okay. Well, you keep taking shots and keep doing math problems and see you next time.